to Hunter here today. So I went to my local gun shop and they were selling a few different guns. They were selling an SKS and they had an old model 75 Cooey. You guys know I'm a sucker for 22. I love 22. The bore on the gun was like brand new. Original bluing. It looks great. The rifle was in about 9 out of 10 condition. Okay, there was a few marks on the stock. I ended up sanding it and re -varnishing. Looks brand new now. Now, I didn't just leave this thing normal. I made it into a scout rifle. The reason for it, the Cooey Model 75 was known of being one of the most accurate little 22s that they ever made with the long barrel and the muzzle brake. Okay? I took the muzzle brake off today because, well, I don't really think I need it. But I'm going to show you this 22 and you guys let me know if you like it or not. So guys, this here is the Model 75. It's made by Cooey. As you see, I did a few different things to it. First, let's look at the bluing on this gun. It's original. It was never touched. And it's still in excellent condition. A few little marks coming on it, but nothing really. I put a laser dot on it. Um, reason why I put this on and the reason why there's tape on this right there is because I didn't want to scratch my barrel when I was putting it on but that laser I bought on Amazon and they say it's good to around 325 yards now I didn't try it yet but I do have it bore sighted with the gun so it is on with the gun which is pretty cool now this gun had an attachment on the side of it Still don't have a clue what it was for, but I took that off and put my own on. And I put a police flashlight kit on here. Now this here also has a laser in the really strong flashlight. Um, this gun is safe. It's going to drop it here. Like I said, it is a single shot. Down the chamber. The gun is in great shape, as you see. And when I tell you what I paid for this, you guys are going to shit yourselves. <clears throat> I put a new sling on it. I left the old sling attachment on it. They're hard as hell to find. Left them on. Put a butt pad on it. Not because it has a kick, but a few more inches makes it perfect for me. It fits me good. I mean, I think it came out really cool, man. You know, with all the different things on it. I'm just going to show you a few things. Shut the light off here. All right. So I'll put the flashlight on first. It's the flashlight, laser, that's on the flashlight, then it has a flashlight with laser, shut that off, then we'll turn on my laser, and that's on the bore there, the, the barrel, very nice, let's put that down here for a sec, anyway, I just want to do a small video, show you another 22 that I picked up, I'll be taking this to the range soon, but man, look at this. Like, this thing is old. It's in great shape. There was no cracks. The wood is perfect on this. I found one. I thought it was a crack, but here's a scratch. It was right there. But when I check more, it's not rough or anything. It's a long scratch. And I think they had something on here, too, because they had a hole here and a hole up here. And I don't know what it was meant for, but I just filled that in. Anyway, that's it for me. Just wanted to show you this. I'll be doing a shooting video of this very soon. And like always, take care. Thanks for watching.